This course will teach you the various methods and strategies to level up your game in generating traffic to your site via different channels. For your first module, you will be introduced to Facebook page and ads. You'll learn about the relevance of Facebook page and ads to increase your existing traffic rate. To get started on your Facebook page, the first step is to use your existing personal profile to create a Facebook page. I would advise you to do so because it'll be easier for you to gain views over your existing friends once you've created a new Facebook page. Next, click on Create a New Page option on your Facebook homepage, and then you'll be prompted to choose your niche business. From here on in, I believe the process is no longer a stranger to you. Treat your Facebook page picture as part of your brand and use your own logo for it. Then on the bottom of your page name is an option to create page username to make it easier for users to look for you. Personally, I'd suggest that you use your page name as your username to ensure a concrete search result. Then there's your cover page. The only difference to it would be to treat your cover page as your business's current activity or advertisement. If you have a long-term sale or a new product launch coming up, it'll be wise to advertise it on your cover photo. Next, explore the About section. Fill up all there is to know about your business. You might never know when any of this information is important to your prospects. Now, about the page itself. Don't ever leave it looking empty. An empty page is defined as a page without new content every week. At most, you only have five posts, and most of your posts contain only likes but no comments from users. One of the worst things of all is that a post of yours isn't relevant to your page. So before you start sharing anything, keep in mind to do so. You'll need at least 5 to 10 posts readily available in your page. That way users won't be discouraged to follow you because those posts you show are active and it's ready to be shared. Use any relevant items you have from your main website and post them within your page. Plus, it's advisable that you put links relevant to your website on each post to steer users to your website immediately. As you can see, there are about seven different options of posts for you to choose from. All you need to do is choose one that is relevant to your page and post at that time and follow the instructions that come with it. You have options like upload photos or video posts, advertise your business, start a live video, direct message, create an event, create an offer, and finally, writing notes. The highlight amongst the seven different options would be advertise your business, which will be explored further in the next module. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.